गुड मॉर्निंग शैम स्टार्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर 11 बायोटेक्नोलॉजी प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रोसेसेस वी लर्न सेपरेशन एंड आइसोलेशन ऑफ डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्लोनिंग वेक्टर्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर क्लोनिंग वेक्टर्स क्लोनिंग वेक्टर्स आर द डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स दैट कैन कैरी अ फॉरेन डीएनए सेगमेंट इनटू द होस्ट सेल it is a small piece of dna taken from a virus a plasmid or the cell of a higher organism that can be stably maintained in an organism and into which a foreign dna fragment can be inserted for cloning purposes most vectors are genetically engineered the cloning vector is chosen according to the size and type of dna to be cloned now let's understand features required for facilitate cloning into vector origin of replication or we can call it ori selectable marker cloning sites vectors for cloning genes in plants and animals we will discuss each feature one by one let's understand origin of replication or ori is a sequence from where replication starts any piece of dna when linked to this sequence can be made to replicate within the host cell the sequence is also responsible for controlling the copy number of the linked dna without ori dna cannot be replicated in the cell now let's understand selectable marker it helps in identifying and eliminating non transformants and selectively permitting the growth of the transformants transformation is a process through which a piece of dna is introduced in a host bacterium the genes encoding resistance to antibiotics such as ampicillin and tetracycline are some useful selectively marker for escherichia coli under the selective conditions only cells that contain plasmids with selectable markers can survive cloning sites are required to link the alien dna with the vector the vector requires very few or single recognition sites for the commonly used restriction enzymes the presence of more than one recognizing sites within the vector will generate several fragments leading to complication in gene cloning next feature is vectors for cloning genes in plants and animals they are many which are used to clone genes in plants and animals in plants the tumor inducing plasmid of agrobacterium tumi faciens is used as a cloning vector it delivers a piece of dna known as tdna in the tai plasmid which transforms normal plant cells into tumor cells to produce chemicals required by pathogens retrovirus adenovirus are also now used as cloning vectors in animals because of their ability to transform normal cells into cancerous cells so children this is all about cloning vectors plasmids bacteriophages cosmids and features required for facilitate cloning into vector i hope you must have understood in the next presentation we will talk about competent host organism thank you shem stars that's all for today you can drop your queries on google classroom take care